誰まだ仕事が残っていますときめくな<笑>ごちゃごちゃうるせえんだよもう一度死ぬか Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the big announcement video because. Oh boy!、Uh, I got home from work roughly about, I want to say, five to ten minutes ago. I went on Twitter and I noticed that there are a few really big data mines that have been taking place, as well as a big announcement in VJump. Or, I don't know, I don't know if it's VJump or something like that, but it's a big announcement that I want to go ahead and show to you guys. Now, probably the main reason why you guys clicked this video and the main reason why I wanted to make this in the first place is because this is the only concrete thing we have inside the game that actually confirms the unit is coming up soon. And it's a really big one. Black Reaper, Kaneki, has been confirmed becoming the game before the anime comes back. Now, we don't exactly know、uh, when it's going to end up happening. However, the visual I'm putting on screen right now. Does have his character model in the game. It does appear to be the one that's not during the Eto fight, but beyond it. The one that was the partner of Furuta that's gonna be starting in the new season once it starts out. So I'm guessing they're trying to adapt it right as the anime comes out, because that's the exact Black Reaper that's gonna start the season and then change a metric fuckton in the first two episodes because pacing.、Um, and I'm really excited about it. It does have on this same V Jump scan some things that talk about.、Uh, One is the Reaper.、Uh, we have the Quink Squad are coming back, I believe, in a second banner. I don't know if they're going to be in a FES unit, but they're going to be around.、Uh, we also have a confirmation of a FES unit banner coming up soon. I assume it's going to have the Black Reaper. The little art they have on the V Jump scan does look like he'll be a FES unit, I assume. He looks fancy enough to be it, at least.、Um, we're getting more rewards off of the lo daily logins during the next Occupation War. And the, and the next occupation war will give us、um, a playable. Well, I can't say playable because we don't have confirmation, but what I assume is a playable Akira、uh, could also be dispatched, but I'm hoping it's going to be a free point based re Akira because she is in the bottom of here. And I assume that's going to be the art they use for the actual character. I'm not sure.、Um, I'm hoping for the best. I'm really excited for it. Uh, aside from that, we do have a couple more data mines of which I'm not really going to go too far into because I don't really want to showcase all of them on the video. But the links in the description will be there if you guys want to go check it out.、Um, we have data mines of Eto and her Kakuja at the end of the re anime,、um, such as her laughs and stuff like that, that kind of has the same voice clips as the final episode of re. We have an Arima re voice clip data mine.、Um, It is a re version of, of Arima that has not appeared yet in the game. So beware of manga spoilers or in the anime. So beware of manga spoilers if you have not seen that yet. However, it's big. It's a really, really big deal because that means that the Arima that is currently going to be announced in the beginning of Re is going to be adapted into the game pretty much immediately, I assume. Or at least he's going to be in the game already to be made into a character once he comes to the anime. So. Super exciting. We have new data mines of the Shiko Rai,、uh, basically Ryo from Tokyo Ghoul、uh, Jail in the crazed version from Coakley. So it'll be interesting to see how he ends up playing and how they end up adapting his Kagune and stuff like that. And we have apparently、uh, the old Arima, the Jack version, also has some voice clips coming to the game soon. So I assume we'll get him playable sometime soon. Probably in October, because October is kind of fitting for Jack, Jack o' Lantern, you know. It works.、Uh, and that's roughly about all the stuff that we do have data mined from the game currently and the things that are going to be coming up soon. I am super excited about it because honestly, we've had so much like revealed in the last couple of days between the data mine of, first of all, the long maintenance into a data mine of the Akira, the Ayato, and、uh, fucking, who was the third one? Nutcracker. Right, Nutcracker's in the game. Almost forgot about her. She exists. My bad.、But、yeah.、Um, we've had a lot of announcements recently, and we seem to just be getting more and more as time goes on. Tokyo Game Show hasn't even started yet. It starts tomorrow. I think it starts tomorrow. The 20th is the first day of the conferences, and beyond that, we're going to get even more announcements pertaining to not only Rebirth and Reinvoke, but also be getting some details as to Call to Exist and stuff like that. So I'm super excited. It's gonna be a big deal for us.
Um, and best case scenario right now, um, they could drop the the Black Reaper Kaneki at the start of next season. I assume they're going to save it for when the anime is going to come back around October 9th or so. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to kind of work around that, but at least for this current war, what we do have confirmed at least is you'll be getting an Akira during this period. We will be getting um, better rewards and we will have a rerun of the original premium Heisei, Urie, Shirazu, Saiko, and Mutsuki. So that's exciting. Oh, that is a lot of details that I had to just get out. So hopefully that wasn't too much overload as to how much details are coming to the game currently. I'm not going to be playing any of the game on this episode because unfortunately I do want to say that for the stream later and I kind of just do want to get this out, make some food, kind of chill for a little bit and maybe get to that. So thank you so much for watching. I am super excited for the future of Tokyo Ghoul Reinvoke. We are in a huge period of question marks and this renaissance of content and incredible things. So hoping for the best, praying for the best, and I'll see you guys next time when the next big announcement happens because hopefully it'll happen soon. Take it easy.